Hi, my name is Dave Upthegrove, state representative from the 33rd district, which includes the west half of the city of Kent. Given the tough state budget situation, have you identified some local budget priorities? The part of this job that I enjoy most is working to try to deliver results for South King County. And one of the priorities I've identified this year is trying to protect and maintain Flaming Geyser State Park. We have several beautiful state parks in South King County. And with the difficult budget situation, Flaming Geyser State Park, which is a 480 acre park on the Green River, was slated for closure. Due to some hard work here in Olympia, we were able to get that park taken off the list, but until we find a permanent funding source for our state parks, all the state parks are in jeopardy. Why is it called Flaming Geyser State Park? That's a great question. Flaming Geyser State Park gets its name from the coal seams underneath the ground, which seep methane gas, which results in bubbling geysers, which are a popular attraction. What sparked your interest in this particular issue? <laughs> Well, I serve as chairman of the House Environment Committee, and I've spent much of my life hiking throughout the wilderness in Washington State. I spent my summers in high school and college leading treks of youth through the North Cascades uh, and spent time teaching soil and water conservation. So making sure that kids and families and seniors have natural places and, and beautiful areas of the state to enjoy has always been important to me. I also think that in order to have good jobs and a strong economy, we need to keep our state a great place to live, and that means protecting our, our open spaces. And in particular, with Flaming Geyser State Park, I had the chance uh, summer before last to go on a river rafting trip down the river, starting at the state park and traveling through this beautiful, gorgeous area of, of undisturbed natural wilderness along the banks of a gorgeous river. And that really sparked my interest in making sure that this park is uh, preserved for future generations. Why is it so important to keep Flaming Geyser open? Mm -hmm. It's important to keep Flaming Geyser State Park open because it is part of a larger effort, an effort we're calling the Green River Gorge Valley to Sound Greenway, which is a coordinated effort among local governments and property owners to come up with a plan to preserve the wilderness areas around the Green River Gorge. This approach is being modeled after the very successful Mountains to Sound Greenway, which protected forest land throughout the I-90 corridor. Likewise, we're trying to do the same thing now in South King County throughout the Green River Gorge to make sure that this beautiful natural area remains. And the largest piece of property right in the center of this wilderness area is Flaming Geyser State Park. And it's the only point right now uh, of public access to let people in and, and appreciate this wilderness area. So the whole uh, Green River Gorge Valley to Sound Greenway hinges upon maintaining this state park. So for that reason, it, it's critical to keep the park open. Have you been getting any feedback from constituents about Flaming Geyser or the state park system in general? I have been getting feedback from all over South King County from people who uh, use the park and appreciate the opportunity to go river rafting there, the opportunity to have picnics there, and who also recognize the role it plays in the larger uh, Green River landscape. Uh, I've gotten emails and phone calls um, from folks urging the legislature to keep it open. And I think that public pressure was part of the reasons we were successful in getting it taken off the list for immediate closures. Uh, now if we can just find a funding source for our state parks together, I'm hopeful that it can remain open. So that public input matters, and to that end, I hope folks will take the time to email me or give me a call if they have any feedback about either Flaming Geyser State Park, parks and recreation issues, or any issue facing the state or the legislature. I would welcome their comments and feedback.